Katrina hit, we was flooded out. When I woke up, I thought I was in the middle of the Mississippi River. I asked for my rod and reel. I've been back here in the B.W. Coop about four months, and I don't have no help right now, none at all. I need me a scooter to get around. And then they tell you you can't get a scooter because VW Cooper don't have the uh, ramps. I was in good health until Katrina, Katrina came. I'd have had eight strokes since Katrina. Oh, I'm ready to get away from here too. The roofs were going because a lot of the boats went through them. And uh, that was it. That was all they were standing. The rest of y'all was clean. Lost a house there, lost two houses in the back. When it was out there, my wife called me up in the morning. I just threw my hands down. I was trying to save stuff and all. I told my brother-in-law, get the camera, take a picture of everything. That's going to be a memory. And sure enough, that's what it was. I came out here, like people said, Ronnie, what you going to do? I'm going to start over. You know, nobody's calling for the boat yard. I don't know if it's the economy. I don't know if it's the oil. You know what I'm saying? I have no idea. You know, boats are toy. And when you don't have the money to feed your toy, what you can do with it? Leave it sit. And we actually got out of the car a block down from the bridge and turned and looked and could see all the way across the bay and could see DuPont across the bay. And that's when I knew that we had lost everything because you couldn't, before you couldn't see DuPont from that, you know, you have houses and everything. I miss my neighbors. I, you know, we had wonderful neighbors on the block. A lot, yes, a lot of us have come back. I think out of the, the 14 houses that were on this block, the front of this block, seven of us are back. And it, it's just not the same. You, you know, you just don't have the camaraderie with, it gets a little lonesome at times. You know, when you're used to, to going next door and visiting and, and seeing each other. Of course, after the storm, there were a lot of things left, but one of the things that was left was this baby's child seat, car seat, that's up in the tree. And it's been there for five years. Um, it may stay. I don't know that any of us will ever take it down. Every now and then I'm driving down the highway and I, I think about Katrina, or when I'm with my friends, we still talk about Katrina. Pass Christian is the only town you can drive through today, five years after the storm, and see destruction still. I am glad I lived through it. And, you know, it took a lot. It, only, it didn't only take my house. It took an uncle of mine, mine's life in Bay St. Louis and, um, and, a, and a bunch of old people. You know, I'm young. I, I could get back up on my feet. But the people that I truly felt sorry for are the older people. I guess the moral of the story is somebody always has it worse off than you, you know. Actually, this coming Friday, I'm signing, FEMA's coming over here, I'm signing the deed, they're going to give me the deed to the place, I've already bought it. So it, ha it has, it's been a five year process and uh, hopefully Friday I'll be clean of MEMA and FEMA because they've been very good to me but it just, you know, I, I want to be done and they want to be done and, you know, so I'm looking forward to Friday.